How many brothers is it that claim they live right? Forgiving brothers like the way of Christ. How many brothers is it that steady move wrong? Correcting brothers and reprove them like forgive and let go. Read scripture some more. Forgive and let go. That's the way of Christ. Forgive and let go. Read scripture some more. Forgive and let go. That's how you live right. Forgive and let go. Verse 36. Bring it out. But he that sinned against me wrongeth his own soul. He that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. You understand? This is what God is saying to you. When you sin against him, you wrong your own soul. You wrong yourself. Go. All they that hate me love death. Everyone that hates God love death. Right. What is death? Hell. You sure? What does the Bible say? No, death is not hell. Romans death 6 and 23. Bring it out. Romans. Chapter 6 and verse 23. Everybody, 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 focus. Hold up. The book of Romans, chapter 6, and verse 23. Oh. For the wages of sin is death. So, listen. If you sin, you death, love death. death. You don't love God. All they, they, all they that hate me love death. Right. That means you love sin. Right. So, John, let's go to the book of, let's go to the words of Christ. John 14 and 21. So, who is perfect? Yeah, who who's is perfect? perfect? And, and I was going to say, that's crazy. Who is perfect? Because I was about to say, who Are you perfect? perfect? Psalms 197. Nah, We're going to get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. You want to see what makes us perfect? You want to see what makes us nah. perfect? Bring it out. We trying to make y'all get perfect. Right. You want to know how to get perfect? Bring it out. You want solutions they where you just make your ass perfect. perfect. make y'all obedient. Bring it out, huh? So you Bring must be disobedient then, Kendra. I get it. You cut like yourself, Kendra. I get it. Well, I ain't gonna lie. How are you gonna lie? I get it. All right, I, so we're gonna show we gonna show you what makes us perfect. Me, so he know I messed the up book of Psalms, chapter 19. Listen, like, he did create you. That's why he always writes about us being a rebellious people. We love him with our lip service, but we deny him in our actions. Bring it out. Right. You must show you love him with your actions. Right. Stop right. saying, huh? You, you, you got a husband. You have a husband. I have a fiance. You have a fiance. But you to say he loves you, what must he do? Huh? To say that he loves you, what must your husband do? Brother, pay attention, pay attention. Yes. 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 Your, husband, your fiance says he loves you. What must he do to prove that? Yeah. <laughs> That's some ultimate love right there. All praises. Listen, just look at Listen, listen, listen. 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 Okay. In all seriousness. That's real love. In all okay, seriousness. Don't be a sir. In all seriousness. What must he do on this earth while he's alive to show you that he loves you? No. Respect? I feel like respect me. He like, must provide. He must take care of you. Yeah. That's pretty much what you must do to God. Show that you love him through your actions. Right. Y'all don't. I'm telling y'all right now. We love our people, but I'm going to tell y'all straight. Y'all do not love God out here. No. We trying to teach. Yes, I can because the Bible right. said it. No, I don't have to say it. You, to you just collapsed on my side. What are you telling me to be liable? Him. No, you said that I'm falling out. Look at the chapter 19 and verse 7. Bring it up. The law of the Lord is perfect. The word of God coming out. Listen, Kendra, watch it. Nah, y'all bullies. The book. No, we ain't bullies. We love y'all. Wherever we sit here dealing bullies. with y'all all day. Y'all some bullies. Yeah, yeah. yes, you were. Okay. Y'all some bullies. Listen, like, if a bus was coming about to smack you, shouldn't we pull you out of the way? But no. This is this bus about, seeing as the bus about you to enter y'all's way. You don't know. She might go home today. The book of Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 7. You don't know. You the law of the work. Lord you is perfect. The law of the Lord is perfect. I do see what's in y'all. Y'all must show. I'm not saying y'all can't repent. From today forward, we gonna know if y'all can congregate on the Sabbath. Now day. we didn't want to let. We wouldn't have never stopped it. You know, well, we, we talking about what makes us perfect. We ain't talking about that no, no more. No, but I'm saying we trying to. You know, uh, we, we want to be perfect. perfect. We're trying to. Listen. She called me a bully. I'm not worried about that. I'm no, trying I'm to read the Bible. Perfect. Watch it. <laughs> the law of the Lord <laughs> is perfect. Converting the soul. Say it again. Converting the soul. What makes it perfect? The law of the Lord is perfect. What makes it perfect? The law of the Lord is perfect. What makes us perfect? The law of the Lord is perfect. We're not saying that y'all perfect right now. We're trying to help y'all get perfection. Right. Right. That's applying right. the law. Right. That's, right. Right. That's all that matters. So are you perfect now? Have you about about all the law? Read it again. The law of the Lord is perfect. So for you to the say law that we of the are, Lord like, is perfect. How, okay. We the kept the, the new law. The la we keep the laws. It makes us perfect. Right. Understand. No. That's what we're trying to tell you. We're well, trying to I help you get perfection. So you, give me love again. John 14 and 15. Listen, sisters. <laughs> we keep the new moons. We just kept. Uh, what's the last one that just kept passed? It was a new moon. Then we had. Uh, 
Tabernacles. Feast of, first, for, Feast of Tabernacles is coming up. Feast of First Fruits is coming up. We're going to keep those high holy days. We keep the law as it is written. Right. That's, That's right. what makes us perfect. Right. We're not condemning you. We're trying to help you get better. Right. You understand? Right. When y'all go to a doctor, don't y'all ask for help. That don't go to saying, I'm already whole, I'm fine, I don't need help. You go to ask him for help. And that's what we are. We're doctors on the street telling you how to get to where we're at. Because once we were on that side with you, right. trying to seek answers. And I'm and I'm And listening. you were sitting here, you was recording, yeah, you was asking questions. It's got, Keep it's asking questions. He's working on me all day every day. Can't nobody tell so, the Lord's working so on me. So what you gonna do about the dress, right? You said, what am I going to do about it? Yeah, what you going to do about it? I'm going to try I'm going to try. I wear dresses try all day, every day, anyway. Why? Why? But I will no. try. We're working. Well, you don't work 24th. I don't know nobody. I don't work 24th Saturday. Right. That's I'm, what we're talking about. So you telling us after work, we need to just throw on a dress? If you love God. That, I, I can't force you to do nothing. My, it's simple as this. And I love God. Hey, I get a sister water, bro. That's what it is. Get a sister water. Sister, you understand what I'm saying? I do understand. Yes, it's a conditional word. Watch this, watch this, watch this. What's that? I understand what you guys say. The book of John, chapter 14 and 15. Bring it out. If ye love me. Verse 21. Watch this. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. See how simple it is? He that hath my commandments, we're delivering to you the commandments of God. We have never read our own opinions yet. We're giving you the commandments of God. He that hath it and keepeth them, he that is that loveth me. That's this is in red, ain't it? it show this to come here, come here. Come here. Read, look at verse 21. Okay, I'm looking at it. What does it say? It says, He that he that hath my commandment and keep and keep what keep and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. So if you have the commandments and you keep them, that means what? He will love us. Thank you. That's, a, that's how simple the Bible is. That's right. what we trying to teach you. Right. Don't let that confusion. Well, like, yeah, because I be saying, it's like, yeah, God, he should love me now. But okay, I understand okay. everything you all saying, though. Yeah. And I just, you know. It's a condition. Oh, There's no such thing as unconditional love. That means you can disrespect me, cheat on me, so on and so forth, and I'm still going to love you. That's impossible. God is not like that. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.